Hello and welcome. I'm Jeremy Searle, the host for our show on events, things happening in and around the city of Montreal. And today I'm going to take a look at reserved parking and how this can be used both to make better use of the limited number of parking spaces in our city and also to have some impact on lessening pollution. In the background you'll see some footage of parking spaces on Peel Avenue in downtown central Montreal in which the equivalent of two car parking spaces have been set aside reserved for motorbikes and you'll see that ten motorbikes are taking up the space typically reserved for two cars. That means we've got eight less vehicles coming into the city each day because also to encourage the motorcycle use here there's no charge to park there on the old day level so we can imagine these are most likely commuters who are parked there. Eight less cars, great initiative from the city or Montreal Traffic Department. But it also gives, gives the hint to another initiative we should be seeing. Currently, bicycles are forced to park on various structures, you get various structures on the sidewalk. It makes no sense that vehicles such as bicycles should be forced to park on the sidewalk, blocking the way for pedestrians and generally in an insufficient number of reserved spaces. The proper place for vehicles is on the road. Now, in much the same way as reserved spaces are here for motorcycles, we should be looking at taking a significant number of spaces on street for bicycles. Here you see five motorbikes taking up the space what would be used by one car. When you take a modern bicycle rack on street, Instead of one car, you can park 10 to 15 bicycles. Now, when you look at it in terms of the number of vehicles coming into the city each day, particularly from the point of view of commuters, people who are going to be working all day, clearly, if you can encourage 10 bicycles to be brought into the city in place of one car, then that's to everybody's advantage, both from the point of view of better use of our roads, better use of our limited parking spaces, and of course, the environmental and health benefits are obvious to one and all. I invite you to consider this notion, and thank you for participating, and I wish you a good day.